I'm back! I know, it's been forever since I've done a video like this. Life has gotten to me. But anyways, so, today I have for you a new make-me-up. So, if you've been on my Instagram, or if you've been on Instagram in general, you have seen hashtag DragonAU, done by OK Cosplays, which I will link OK Cosplays down below and off to the side over here. Um, where basically this person started a hashtag thing of Dragon AU Haiku characters. Um, like, if you look through the tag, you'll see a bunch of Akashis, Kurus, Kagiyamas, um, a lot of Asahis and Noyas and Tsugas. I even saw a Dachi, which is awesome. So, I asked what, on my Instagram, what should my next make me of cosplay be? And I have gotten the request to do my, my, in, my take on Dragon Asahi. So let's get started, shall we? And disclaimer, I'm going to try a new style of recording these videos. Instead of doing a voiceover, I'm gonna do kind of like what Pink Stylist does, which again, I will link Pink Stylist, because Pink Stylist is wonderful. Um, where I explain what I'm doing and then fast forward and get all this crap on my face. So are we ready for this, kids? Let's do this. All right, so first thing you're going to do is go ahead and apply your makeup like you normally would for Asahi. Um, personally, what I do is do the jaw, make my chin look square, narrow my nose, and do the eyebrows. However, do not do the beard. That's the one thing we're not going to be doing just yet, and you will see why. So load up your fluffy brush with your contour powder of choice, and just do your makeup as normal. Now that you've got your manly Asahi looking face going, except for the beard, there's a reason for that. Now we're going to move on to the fun part, scales! So the secret to making dragon scales on your face is your wig cap. Make sure it's one of these that are nice and netted. And what you're going to do, first plot out what you're going to do for your dragon. Obviously the dragons can be anything. What I personally did for Asahi was a diamond on each side of my face a triangle at the top of my head, and a streak going down my nose. So, what you're going to do, and this is going to look really stupid, is you're going to put on your wig cap and pull it up over your face. And for Asahi, I am going with a brown theme for scales. There's a lot of blacks and silvers, but I figured for Asahi's character, and kind of to match his hair, that he would have brown. So... For the scales, I'm going to be using this bronzish color right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to start by outlining the designs you want on your face. So I'm going to outline the triangle and outline the two diamonds and then fill them in. And then you just carefully remove it and ta-da! And also if you want to do on the nose, just like put a streak down your nose. So there's not really anything special to that. So let's get started! There you go. Don't worry if it doesn't come out completely perfect because when are dragons ever perfect? So the next part is going to be why I said to not draw on Asahi's beard because we are going to make his beard with netting. 
we're going to make his beard into scales. So choose a dark brown color for his beard. I'm just going back with the powder that I had to contour his face. And you're going to put on the wig cap and you're going to hold it and you're going to pull it up just to your chin and again draw on a triangle shape and just fill that in. Alright, here is Asahi's beard as dragon scales. And now is when we get to the creative part. You can do whatever you want to your dragons. Put on whatever kind of markings or no markings or whatever you want to do. So personally, what I did for Asahi, I first started out by adding a turquoise colored eyeshadow to the top part just to give it kind of a little shine. And I just thought turquoise would look great on him. So what I'm gonna do is get a different, get an eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna gently pat the color along the top of my face. So yeah, let's do it. All right, now that you have a sufficient amount of color on your face, the next thing that I personally did was I wanted to really deepen out his eyes and make them a little more set in. Because to me, it looks dragonish. So what you're gonna do is you're going to use dark brown to fill in your eyelids and go under the eyes and also exaggerate the crease. You want, if it looks too high, then you've got it right. Cause you want it to look really deep set in. So I'm gonna go back with my dark brown shadow and just set in my eyeballs. last couple of touches remember that these are that you can personalize them however you want to the next thing I'm going to do is blend out his lips till they're pretty much gone so what you'll do here is you're going to take a concealer I suggest liquid concealer and just put it over your lips probably just do it over one lip and then just pat it down and smooth it out my lip has been completely covered up I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put a brown mark down the center of my lip to just because I want to give it a little accent so I'm gonna go back with the bronze color and apply that to my lip all right so the final touch for the face that I personally liked doing is making teal marks going down the sides of my face and across I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow pencil that's a turquoise color that I got from Walmart for a dollar. Yay! And what I'm doing is I'm gonna draw a vertical line down each side of my face. It's kind of like representing tears for him because as we all know, he's kind of a scaredy cat, but we love him to death no matter what. And to give him kind of a warrior look, I'm gonna bring the stripes across his face, kind of like the face black for football players or something. So yeah, let's do it. one more thing that I forgot to do and I didn't think about it because I don't have any more eyebrow pencils the last thing you're going to do will require some dark blue eyeshadow I made cracks along each side of the scales on Asahi's face to kind of give that broken look because you know Asahi's just a delicate little baby crow so what you're gonna do is take a skinny eyeshadow brush or you could even use like some kind of um, eyebrow brush or something and just using dark blue you're going to just draw cracks into the face so they don't have to be perfect whatever you want to do with them So at this point, you're done with the face. You could go on and you can make more scales over your body. 
Um, I did shoulder scales for Asahi, but I needed a second person for that. So what you would do is you would pull the, the weight cap over your shoulder and your friend would have to help you color it in because it's kind of hard to do that. But I will show you how I made the glass heart on my chest for Asahi. So what you're first going to do is take a white eyeliner and you're going to trace out the shape you want. So I started with a couple of lines down the middle of my neck and then I drew out a heart shape. Once you have your heart done, you're going to take the teal eyeshadow again and just fill it in. Like, you don't have to make it perfect, just kind of look like it's scribbled in because we want it to look kind of glassish. So now that you have your heart drawn on, I also went ahead and kind of traced it out because let's face it, I'm using my camera as a mirror and it was kind of hard to see. So we're going to give it a little sheen. So we're going to take a powder blue eyeshadow color, looks like that, and just kind of dab it on there and make it look kind of shiny, kind of like it's glass. All right, now the final step. We're going to use a black liquid eyeliner. Eyeliner pencil won't work as well for this. It kind of doesn't show as easily. So use liquid liner. You're going to draw a heart in the center and then lines going out of the heart. So it kind of looks like a jewel on your chest. heart's not perfect but you know what neither is Asahi so there you go here is the dragon look for Asahi Azumane from Haikyuu thank you guys so much for watching please like favorite subscribe comment whatever you want to do and let me know what makeup tutorial you want me to do next I have a lot of different characters I can do um just look on my Instagram and pick which one you want so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later bye